Hey guys, Steve Welch here, bringing you another one of the product reviews on some of the products that I've gotten here um, that I think could be useful to you guys. So I um, wanted to review this here. So what I've got, and I'm just gonna kind of hit you with it all at once here, um, is the Artilink uh, 500 from Topdon. All right, so this is, uh, if, if you kind of look at the back here, you can see some of the stuff it says. So it's diagnosed for you. So it's all 10 OBD2 models, so 96 in newer cars. Uh, you can read codes. Uh, it says patented one-click readiness test status for a smog check, um, which if you're in a state that does that, that'd be really good. Live data and graphic format, easy to monitor. It says freeze frame, quickly get the VIN, the CIN and CVN information. So. I'm going to tell you a story that I heard about that. So um, what you might watch out for on a lot of cars that you might be buying. So this right here, if you have a check engine light on, if you, you know, this can pull that code really quick. It's not that expensive. It's on Amazon. I'll put a link in the uh, description there. Um, but the fact that you can pull the VIN out with this car or with this uh, this device here is very important because I have seen before where people would steal a car and change all the VIN plates that you can see easily and you have a stolen car, you don't know it. If you hook up to the main computer system, it's gonna be able to tell you if the VIN on the car matches the VIN in the computer. So that, that could help you to know if, whether or not you have a stolen car. So um, that's just, you know, like I said, it's just my opinion on it, but that's a, that's a really cool feature if it'll show you the VIN. So we're gonna kind of peek at it together, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up. And the first thing I'm gonna tell you that I've noticed if you look at it, it's something that I love. There is no razor blade needed to open this, right? This thing just, just opened very easily. It just, you know, you're, you're not, I mean, I've, I've had things like this before where you're sitting there with a razor blade cutting yourself trying to get in here. So, um, but you can kind of take a look at, uh, at what's in here. So you've got a code reader, um, user manual, right? And then it looks like you've got, uh, information on what it is the leds help button okay button all that stuff's in there right so um really really uh normal stuff when it comes to that so i'm going to pop over here we're going to take a look down so we've got a um USB. and we're going to kind of take a look at how this pops out doing it one-handed so hopefully you guys can appreciate that so um we're going to kind of look at how does it how does it feel in your hand it, it feels pretty good in your hand um it's not awkward or anything like that so um there's your uh, plug-in so um but yeah let's uh and that's probably for pulling stuff up with the freeze frame and that so what we're going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to hook this thing up all right so um now the something that i do like is if you look right here there's an LED light on the inside here. So um, when you're looking for where these things are, you tend to get down here and you tend to try to figure out, and I'm in a forerunner, so it's really not as hard as you think. It's usually straight back, which it's it's right here. I don't know if you can see this little OBD2 connector here, and um, but you can always look at it this way. You can look at your angles and see how your angles fit. Once you do that, you can pop this up here, right? Plug that in, right? Once that's plugged in, you get your beeps here all right so we're gonna come back up here because i don't really want to sit on the ground so and we're gonna take a peek at what this does so you can hit diagnose and that so usually you have to have it at least into the run position which i'm going to do that anyway and then i'm going to hit diagnose right we're going to hit okay here and and i'm using it like you know anybody else would right so let me uh so it says processing, right? So it's gonna look and so readiness completed, hit okay. And then boom, you, so you can come down here and you can read codes. So vehicle has no codes. That's good, cause this one's for sale. Um, so, <laughs> so hit your exit button here. Um, but it looks like you can erase your codes. I am readiness. So we're just kind of looking down here. So it's showing, you know, anything that it's had on there, it looks like. Um, so let's do this. I'm going to turn this on. 
just because I think this could probably help us here. So you can do a data stream. So view all items, why not? Let's see what's going on. Getting supported data. So it can see coolant temperature. So the coolant temperature is coming up. You can see uh, fuel trim, engine RPM, vehicle speed, ignition timing. So it shows the intake air temperature, your airflow rates, your throttle position. Let me hit the gas and see, there we go. So jump, jumped up when I hit the gas there. Um, but you can look at everything that's coming on this data stream. This is really cool. So you can see all kinds of stuff. I'm still scrolling down here. Fuel level input, oxygen sensor voltage, distance travel, barometric pressure. Nice. Okay. <laughs> oxygen sensor currents. Yeah, there's you know, basically anything that could be something that would cause a problem. And I'll, and I'll tell you, I've been a mechanic for a long time. Um, so any of you that don't know some of my, um, they don't know some of my background. Um, I was an aircraft mechanic for major airline for five years. I've worked on cars since I was 14, which is uh, probably coming up on 30 years ago. Um, I have been in the car business for a long time. Um, and I also worked on semis and uh, semi trailers for about eight, nine years. So um, I've done the mechanical stuff. And I will tell you one of the, and, and I was actually, I sold auto parts for about four years too. So um, some of those were concurrent, but you know, it was almost five years actually. Um, but some of those were concurrent with other ones. But um, when I would sell auto parts, one of the biggest problems that you have is you'd have people, even good mechanics come in going, all right, I'm gonna try the EGR now. That didn't work. All right, I'm gonna try the O2 sensor. All right, now I'm gonna try, the, I mean, and you'd come in and they'd just be trying part after part after part. Well, if you got something like this, you're not spending the money on those parts. And I'm gonna tell you too that, and I know this is probably still their, their policy, but the auto parts store I worked with, which was a national chain, their policy was if it was an electrical part and it was hooked up, it's yours. You can't bring it back saying, well, that didn't fix it. Well, we don't sell parts for diagnostic reasons. So, you know, something like this could save you a lot of money if uh, you need to diagnose your car. So, um, but let's, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other stuff. So let's see graphic items, right? Let's see what this does. Getting supported data. All right, so coolant temperature, short-term fuel. There's all kinds of stuff that you can look at here. Engine RPM, this one's an easy one. Let's do engine RPM. I'm gonna hit the okay button here. Okay, so it put a V on there. So it's, oh, you can put several things on here. So like if you're looking at the RPM and you wanna see the RPM and the throttle position, right? So you can kind of see so there's your data stream. So you can see what your RPM done, what your throttle position's done. So if you change where the throttle is, you can see how the RPM, so it's gonna show you that graph as you're going there. So really sweet. This thing does a lot of stuff. It, like I said, it's not that expensive, guys. Um, you can do an O2 sensor test, EVAP, onboard monitoring, vehicle information. So you can see VIN data and, and all kinds of stuff that's on there, right? So yeah, you can see uh, several things that are on there. So um, sure, let's exit this. So hit OK. And then now let's go over some of these. Let's do IM. Entering the system. And it just shows you if there's anything on there. So that's just your... Uh, monitoring readiness it looks like so you can print you can search there's just looks like there's a lot of things that you can do with this setups so you can change your language so you know to measure so metric or imperial you can change that um so you yeah you can change all kinds of stuff record mode um okay so you can record it right so beeper so you don't want your beeper on you can shut the beeper off so, yeah, there's uh, a language. Let's see which languages you can do. English, French, Spanish, Dutch. That's probably Russian, uh, Portuguese, and uh, hieroglyphics. Uh, that's probably Chinese. Um, it's <laughs> I, I don't know which. I, I apologize. I don't know which language that one is. It might be Chinese, might be Japanese. So you can review. You can look at your data stream. You can review all kinds of stuff here. So freeze frame you can delete stuff yeah there's 
all kinds of stuff that you can do with this. Uh, prep for, like I said, a smog check, something like that. Look up. So, oh, this is nice too. So if you want to see a code, like a P, zero, like I know this, watch. Four, watch this. Two, zero, right? Now, see this says, catalyst system efficiency below threshold, bank one, right? That's one of those ones that pops up because of your gas cap. <laughs> So it might not be the gas cap, but that's one of those ones that pops up because of a gas cap. So, you know, that I've done a couple of those, you know, you start getting into some of these. Let's see what a three, watch this, a 302. Cylinder two misfire. See, all your your low 300s, 301, 302, 303, 304, 305, 306, 307, all those are cylinder misfire. So, but you can search and you can see what those codes would mean it's just, yeah, it's really, uh, it's really sweet. So, yeah, you can look up codes. Let's see what the info is. So, hardware versions and all that. Um, it's supported, topdondiagnostics.com. Um, that's what your help does. So, about, print help, I am readiness. So, you know, you can see a misfire monitor. So, you can see all this. I mean, yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff on here. If you're about diagnose, I mean, all these things that you can see. Yeah, there's just, so that right there, that should be your, your smog. So if you're going to go and you're going to get your car checked and you don't know. So, I mean, I, I know that we used to do it here, but if you're going to go and you're going to get your car checked and you need to see if it's going to pass that check then you need to look at this and get your green check marks here. So, you know, that I would think that's what that's all for. So your O2 sensors or anything like that. Obviously, your check engine light usually can't be on in those either. So um, this will tell you if you're ready to go or not, because I know that uh, here that, that used to, I mean, they don't do it anymore, but it used to cost nine bucks every time that you went there. And uh, you, I think you get the second one free if you failed the first time, but then you had to pay again. So if you're working on a car, this is a good tool that can save you not only the trip to get it smogged, if that's what you're trying to do, can also save you the you know the money from having it done. So um, I know that this has been kind of a long video, but I just wanted to show you guys a pretty cool product here. So um, like I said, these, these things, you'd be shocked to find out how not high price this is. Uh, for everything that this thing does, there are, I would have killed for this thing back when I was doing a lot of my mechanican, uh, just because being able to direct yourself to the problem, that amount of time that that saves you is, is valuable extremely valuable I think if you're in a shop and you're a mechanic or if you're you know at your front yard and you're a mechanic and you're doing these and, and you're trying to get as many cars done as possible and fix as many cars as you can having something like this is going to do nothing but make you money so first time that you use it that it saves you an hour it'll have paid for itself I mean it's it's literally that that's what it will do so um do I like it? Yeah, I like playing with toys. Uh, this this thing, it's going to give you the ability to look at the car. And, and here's the thing. It goes all the way back to 96. So you could have a older car and be trying to figure out what the issue is. And this will this will show you what your issue is, right? This will show you if you've got anything that you possibly need to fix in your list, right? So if you got a bad O2 sensor, it can tell you which O2 sensor is bad. It's not just, you know, not just the check engine light. It's showing you all kinds of stuff. The fuel systems, the, you know, I mean, I've, I've chased after, I've heard people trade in a car just because they got tired of trying to change parts, trying to figure out why the check engine light wouldn't turn on. When we had smog checks here, people would trade in cars because they couldn't get the, the check engine light off. They couldn't figure out what it was. And sometimes it wasn't that expensive and it wasn't that hard, but you spent six months trying to get a check engine light off and they found out it was an O2 sensor and you didn't realize you had four of them. You changed an O2 sensor, it didn't fix it. You had four, <laughs> you, you might have two, but you, you changed one and went, yeah, it said bad O2 sensor, I've changed it three times, it don't fix it. So that that's something that uh, is uh, pretty interesting. So um, like I said, this is from Top Don. I'm going to put a link in the description so you guys can take a look at it. I know this video went long, it had to. This thing does a ton, right? 
So definitely like and subscribe and uh, let me know what you guys think. Is this something you guys want to want to put in your toolbox? Because uh, I think you probably should. So um, like I said, it's Artie Link 500 and it's from Top Don. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.